Hello and welcome to my Fern Capella Astrology Forecast, very special forecast for December 21st, 2012. And looking into the brand new world ahead. So I'm so excited to share this time with you. Congratulations on making it to this day. I am very blessed to make it to this day and there's been so much on the way and I'm very much looking forward to what's to come. So I wanted to share some of my conscious uh, thoughts um, and hopefully some of the sub subconscious thoughts will come peeking out as well um, about what I have come to think about and understand about this day and the life um, that we're moving into. So as everyone knows, this day has been on everyone's, on people's minds for millennia as well as the last 25 years at least um it's been a big craze of looking into today december 21st 2012 and there's uh multiple there's terence mckenna's uh i ching connection where he breaks apart how the 64 um hexagrams and how they all line up and it ends and time changes on this day and that's simultaneous to the Mayan calendar and what they uh, predicted and looked at related to this day. So obviously there's, and there's so many other things that are relating to this time of the apocalypse, of the revelation, the Bible, um, the Hopi um, have their signs that we are walking through definitely. So there's in many, many, many myriad ways uh, this this obvious understanding that we all kind of share collectively and quietly that we are going through something pretty big together. And we don't really know exactly what it is, and the human nature is like a bull, like a tauren. And I believe that the Taurus um, is ruled by Earth, and that the Earth people are very torn in nature. And we really have... We seek pleasure over pain, and we seek uh, enlightenment through peace and through le the means of least resistance. And it is a time of really st strict, abrasive opposition to our to the way that we want to deal with the world and want to engage with the world because we have um, through our denial of the dark side and the dark shadow the shadow self we've allowed it to foster and to grow and to become this serious virus serious problem on the earth people and on the earth as a host being um and so now is this time this crux period of wa awakening to that shadow self and coming to some kind of new way of dealing with it and incorporating it into the whole being so that we can heal and become more cooperative and not so self-destructive because really as we're all connected and in this universe together every single thing we do affects each other and affects ourselves in that it affects the universe and we are a part of the universe so um, anything, any way that we poison each other and any way that we poison ourselves, we're really always poisoning ourselves. Um, and any way that we hurt someone else, we're all, always hurting ourselves at the same time. So any negative and uh, destructive energy is a self-destructive energy. Um, and so what we're really doing in this time, and this is where I'm getting to, is what we're really doing is today is a massively incredibly beautiful day of transformation from within so the gears in the deep belly of the earth are changing and shifting and the the old power that was so hell-bent on destruction and self-destruction and and taking us apart that old power is now depleted of its energy and it doesn't have the same strength that it had before and it's never going to get it back it's now over and there's no way to move the time has actually shifted and so we're we are moving into this age of Aquarius this age of cooperation of 
of valuing everyone equally and of new innovations and ways of, of fostering positivity and just a light-filled existence. And there's nothing that can stand in the way of that. So what's happening from a core level is that we are seeing the gears shift and the whole thing turn and change and there's no way to to step back so I'm we've all made it to today and there's so many people who are so curious about this day and this time that we're moving through and we're um, not able to make it here and I really want to honor them, including Terrence McKenna and Stephen Spirit, two people that I respect deeply. Um, and they talked about today and didn't get here. So uh, we bring them in this to this day through our awareness and our intention to bring, to help the gears turn and help the old world pass and help the new world come into being. And um, I do want to also offer that we are in a really incredible opportunity of creating our own realities and so it's very important to be truly committed to your reality and use it to foster your life story and to foster your evolutionary growth and to foster positivity in the world and don't don't just subscribe to the manipulated life story that you're handed out Create your own and feel what destiny is calling for you and feel what you want for the earth. What is your contribution? What's your enlightened spark that you're going to contribute to this planet? And um, I'm just thankful again to be sharing this day with you. I love you so much and I'm really looking forward to this new incredibly beautiful world that, that we deserve and that the earth is calling for. Sending you my love and prayers. Many blessings.